Welcome to today's lecture on Introduction to Pharmacognosy, History, Development and Scope of Pharmacognosy, delivered by D. Shamsundar, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Pharmacognosy at School of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Vistas, Chennai. Pharmacognosy may be defined as an applied science which deals with medicinal and related products which is obtained from animal, plant and mineral origin. Pharmacognosy also embraces the knowledge on history, distribution, cultivation, collection, processing for market and preservation. It also deals with study of sensory, physical, chemical and structural characters and uses of crude drugs and natural fibers. Pharmacognosy also deals with marine organisms which is obtained from both plant and animal origin, which is having potent pharmacological actions and it is receiving increasing attention in search of new drugs. Pharmacognosy also includes the study of other materials such as suspending, disintegrating and flavoring agents. It also deals with filtering aids, antibiotics, allergens, poisonous plants, humanizing agent and pesticides. So the term pharmacognosy it was coined by a German scientist by name Seidler in the year 1850 in his title of his book Analecta Pharmacognostica which means derived from two Greek words pharmacon a drug and gignoska to acquire knowledge of. So moving on to the history and the development of pharmacognosy. So the universal role of the plants in the treatment of disease is exemplified by their employment in all major systems of medicine such as the western medicine with originating from Mesopotamia and Egypt, the Yunani from Islamic and the Ayurvedic from Hindu system of medicine and the oriental originating from China, Japan and Tibet. Following the oral transmission of medical information came the use of writings like the parchments and the manuscript herbals, printed herbals, pharmacopias and most recently the electronic storage of data. So the Egyptian papyrus abus, which is a 60 feet long and 1 feet wide, dating back to 16th century BC, was the first dominated document with 800 formulae and 700 different drugs. We also have the Chinese medicinal plants, which is a text from the 4th century BC, the Pen Savo, written by the emperor Shen Nang, which contains 365 drugs for 365 days. Coming to the history of pharmacognosy with reference to Ayurvedic medicine which dates back to 2500 to 600 BC, the Charaka Samhita and Shushrutta Samhita which has uh, 50 groups of drugs of 10 herbals each according to which it will suffice the ordinary physician's need. The Shushruta arranged 760 herbs in 7 sets based on some of their common properties. And we have other uh, medicines related to Yunani which is the Kitab Halsifa dating back to 980 to 1037 AD. So this chart provides a quick summary of the history of pharmacognosy and its development dating back to 160 to 360 BC 
from Hippocrates, who is considered as the father of medicine. Then we have the Aristotle, who described about the animal kingdom between the year 384 to 322 BC. Then we have Theophrates, the father of botany, who talked about the plant kingdom in the year 370 to 287 BC. And we have the first pharmacist, the Galen, who talked about the Galenical pharmacy in the year 131-200. And we have the Seedler, who coined the term pharmacognosy in the year 1815. And we have other scientists contributing for the growth and the development of the pharmacognosy. So development of pharmacognosy with respect to modern pharmacognosy started during the year 1934 to 1960 with the development of many discoveries like the discovery of penicillin in 1928, the isolation of reserpin in 1952, then we have the anti-cancer properties of Vinca rosia and the discovery of Dioscuria which is utilized to prepare semi-synthetic steroidal hormones. The development of pharmacy or pharmacognosy also involves the step-by-step -step process in the biosynthesis of primary and the secondary metabolites was well presented before the world. And we have the knowledge of plant taxonomy, plant breeding, plant pathology and plant genetics which was very helpful in the development of cultivation technology for medicinal and aromatic plants. Apart from that, we had many monographs that are available and containing large number of such drugs with their description, test for identity and purity and assay of active constituents. So the German Commission E monograph is one example. We have other monographs like ESCOP, the European Scientific Cooperative for Phytotherapy monograph. Then we have the AHP, we have the WHO, World Health Organization monograph. Then you have the USP, the United States Pharmacopoeia monograph. The scope of pharmacognosy. So the key role of pharmacognosy is the discovery of new drug and development of new drug by using natural products. Pharmacognosy is playing an important link between modern medicines, allopathy and the traditional system of medicine. It also acts as an important bridge between pharmacology, medicinal chemistry, pharmacotherapeutics and pharmaceutics. So it covers all the branches of pharmacy. Pharmacognosy includes knowledge about safe use of herbal drugs including toxicity, side effects, drug interaction, thereby effectiveness of modern medicine is enhanced. In recent years, new plant drugs are finding their way into medicine as purified phytochemicals rather than in the form of traditional galanical preparations. So the development of pharmacognosy also led to the development of botany, taxonomy, plant biotechnology, plant genetics, plant pathology, pharmaceutics, pharmacology, phytochemistry and other branches of sciences. So pharmacognosy is playing a vital role in all aspects of the development of a medicine.